Ah, the 1990s, a time of cheesy brands, weird gimmicks, and heart attack rendering sodas. But the 90s was also where it seemed every year we saw a dramatic improvement in games. The fact that Super Mario Bros. 3 and Mario 64 are only 6 years apart is almost mind boggling. The advancements in the 90s is unreal and might be something that's worth making a video about sometime in itself, but today I want to talk about a game that many people might not have heard of and one of the hidden gems of 90s racers. And that game is Pod. Now Pod is a futuristic racing game for Windows made by Ubisoft back in 1997, set on the planet Io, a mining planet in the distant future. For the most part, the entire story is told through a pretty badass intro cutscene when you start up the game. To sum it all up, we colonize a new planet called Io and of course start mining. Eventually we strike some kind of virus that destroys almost everything it touches. I promise you this does connect to racing eventually. So most people that are able begin to leave the planet and escape as everything starts collapsing all around, but unfortunately of course there are not enough ships for everyone to get off the planet. In fact, there is only one ship left, and the remaining people have the perfect solution, of course, to figure out who gets it. Well, well. I mean overall it's actually a pretty sick intro, 90s rock, kick ass explosions and cool cars. My young self flipped out when I first booted up this game, but any game can have a cool intro. How is the game itself? And to be honest, it's pretty good. For one, for the time this might have been one of the prettiest looking racing games I had played at that time. The art style had such a unique feel to it. From the aesthetics of the cars to the futuristic cities to race through, it's one of those art styles that really just screams late 90s. You're going through skyscrapers, mining platforms, all sorts of weird environments, even a giant spider's nest, just everything is on the table here. And the level designs that go along with it are just fantastic. Great turns, great sections, overall all these tracks are unique in their own right, so there isn't much, oh I've been here before feeling, it stays fresh throughout the entire game. Luckily unlike some games of the time which really tried some strange control schemes, Pod sticks to a pretty basic one. Either arrow keys or if you're feeling up for it, steering wheel and pedals. Though the controls are pretty simple, they work out pretty well to make it an easy game just to pick up and play and of course makes it kind of just that timeless feeling of any racer of the era. Now one of the ways this game really shines over all the other racing games of the era was its physics engine. At that time, this might have been one of the most advanced physics engines used for a racing game. The way that cars interact with each other and their environments was really just ahead of the time. I remember having friends over and showing this game off and once I bumped into someone mid-air, they were amazed how the cars actually interacted with one another. Or when I hit a bunch of boxes or cones and they went flying away and actually stayed on the course for the next few laps instead of just disappearing like most games did. A lot of this kind of stuff was groundbreaking for the time, it, it was something that really none of us had really seen much of in any of the other racers around that era. The cars even had a damage system, so when you ran into something, you know, you could actually damage your vehicle and possibly render it useless. The damage system really only comes into play if you're playing on the hard mode, but it's still just a unique touch to add to the game, especially when it comes to replaying the game on that harder difficulty. Now speaking of cars, you actually do get a good variety to choose from, however they can all be upgraded in pretty much the same way, so it really is just for looks. I know some people kind of enjoy being able to customize their car however they like, some people prefer having different cars meet different goals and play styles, but for this you pretty much just pick a cool looking vehicle you enjoy, set it to your standard, and then go. 
Now, admittedly, the main game is just racing all the tracks and see who gets the most points, kind of like a, just a really long Grand Prix. But because the track designs are just so well done and the overall atmosphere is just fantastic, it really does still stand a test of time, even with that basic just play all the races and see what happens kind of gameplay. So if you are in the market for a fun 90s style racer, I cannot recommend Pod enough. It was a massive part of my childhood for a reason and still holds up well today. You can find it on GOG, which is just fantastic, and it still plays just like the original. So definitely go check it out if you're a, any bit of a fan of the 90s racing genre. Now I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. It really is a huge help, and I really hope to see you all in some of our future videos.